Hi everybody, in this tutorial I will instruct you on how to forecast production using exponential decline technique. So let's start. So here is the data. Oil company considers to, to drill a new prospect and the preliminary data uh, offered by technical staff from crew and logs and geological data from offset wells uh, as follows. Area is equal to 3,000 3, acreage. Net base thickness is equal to 100 feet. Porosity is equal to 12%. And water saturation is equal to 35%. And initial formation oil volume factor is equal to 1.3 is a barrel divided by stock tank barrel. And the recovery factor is equal to 20%. So we wanted to forecast the oil production given the nominal decline rate at 10% annually. And the initial production rate is equal to 3,000 barrel oil per day. So again, here is the data. So the first step is to calculate our original oil in place, which is equal to from this equation, it's equal to 77.58 multiplied by area, multiplied by thickness, multiplied by porosity, multiplied by oil, oil saturation, which is equal to one minus the W. divided by the initial oil formation volume factor and divided by 1 million to calculate it in million stock tank barrel. So the original oil in place in this area is equal to uh, 14, uh, for, uh, 140 million stock tank barrel. Second step is to calculate reserve. Reserve is equal to the original oil in place multiplied by the recovery factor. So this will be equal to the original oil in place multiplied by uh, uh, cover factor. So we have a reserve equal to 28 million stock tank barrel. So because we deal with uh, exponential decline, so we need to calculate what's called the effective decline rate. So from this equation, we calculate the effective decline rate, which is equal one minus exponential uh, minus uh, nominal, uh, nominal decline rates. So this will be equal one minus exponential minus the nominal decline rate. So the effective decline rate is equal to 9.5%. The last step is to calculate our production schedule from this data. So we want to calculate our production for 10 years. So the initial, uh, the initial year will be equal to the initial rate, which is equal to QI. And because we still don't have produced any QM, so the, so the initial QM relative to the production is equal to zero. Second step is to forecast the production rate for the first year. So from this equation, this will be equal to QI, and we need to make it fix it multiplied by one minus effective decline rate, which is again, need to be fixed. This is power of the two, the uh, year number. So this is the first year, which is equal to one. So the production rate for the first, for the first year will be uh, 2,715, uh, uh, barrel per day, and again we now want to calculate our cumulative production for the first year. So this will be equal to from this equation U minus QI, and we need to fix it multiplied by 365, the the number of days per year, divided by Then one minus D, which is effective decline rate, and then we need to fix it. So this will be uh, the unit of barrel. So we need to divide it by. We need to divide it by one thousand. 
So in the first year, we produced 1,042,000 uh, uh, barrels. So we met the steps for the 10 years. So the final rate will be 1,104 barrels per day. And the cumulative production will be uh, 6,922,000 uh, stock tank barrels. So in this graph, we bought, uh, we plot uh, the, the decline for the production and the cumulative rate. So if you want to learn more about uh, the forecast techniques, so please join us on, uh, on the economic uh, course on uh, Bayer platform. Uh, so see you there and bye.